Hello, my beautiful soul. This is Moonseeker Flight Guardian, and this is your reading for today. Today, I'm doing a pick a card reading for you. This is going to be how does he or she feel about me? So we have three options here for you. We have pile number one, which is the period of um, heart. Pile number two, which is the clear quartz heart. And pile number three, which is the blue sandstone heart. So pick whatever pile, number, or stone heart that resonates for you. I'm going to start over here with pile number one, the green peridot heart. So if you chose this pile, this is your reading. How does he or she feel about me? The first card we have here is temperance. So your person is finding balance. Finding balance within themselves so they can find balance within the two of you, this connection. The angel of temperance is someone who comes in and tempers the energy. So they're tempering your energy and their energy so you guys can find healing, balance, and harmony. You also have here the five of cups. So your person feels like there's something, like this grief, there's been a loss between the two of you and right now perhaps all they can see is what has been lost they cannot see what is still there they cannot see the cups that are still standing all they can focus on and see is the spilt wine here the cups that are spilt over everything that has been lost they cannot see that there's still a chance for something this is why the angel of temperance is with you guys so you guys can balance your energies we also have here the eight of wands but your person wants to communicate with you they want to reach out very quickly intensively and passionately to talk to you perhaps want to talk to you about this five of cups what has been spilled what has been lost they don't want that anymore what they want is the queen of wands they want to step into the queen of wands energy where they can be more confident they're perhaps lacking the confidence when it comes to talking to you reaching out to you but the queen of wands she's someone who is passionate she's someone who's creative she's someone who's a badass she stands in her power and this could be that this is what your person wants to do wants to stand in, the, in your power so that you guys can finally find harmony the world card here is saying that something needs to come to completion a cycle needs to end so that you guys can have a new cycle start again your person might have been watching you online been checking up on you here with a page of swords but they're also having all this they're, they're holding all these ideas in their heads they are they're witty they're clever they're wanting to to communicate this to you with this page page of messengers they have these like bright ideas they want to share with you about communicating with you about um looking at what is still there about finding balance and harmony what else do we have here we have a wealthy man here. Perhaps they have gotten into some money. They perhaps finally got their shit together when it comes to their finances and their career. We have one plus, uh, one, one plus three is four. So their foundations might be a lot more solid now than they were before because they've been on a journey. And now we have a num another number 10 here. The cycles are ending, so new cycles can begin for them. They're finding some kind of abundance in the material world where there once was bad health. Now we have three plus one is four. That foundation, that those bad foundations, uh, the bad health in this relationship, the bad health in their finances, the bad health in their careers, all that is shifting now. They're, they're changing their foundations so that they can have something more solid. They have been on this massive journey and they continue to be on this massive journey and they're learning they're learning from all of this. So how does a person feel about you? They feel like they have reached a point in their life now where their foundations are finally stable, where the foundations are perhaps ready for them to come forward and talk to you. Cycles are being closed out so new ones can begin. So whatever old energy between the two of you, old energy where they were just, or even you were just focusing on, the, on those cups that were spilt, is that's no longer the case. You're finding harmony and balance there with the temperance. Things are coming to completion. The world is coming, uh, starting to to rotate for you the right way. Uh, they're keeping eye on you on social media because that's perhaps how they can see when it's the right time to step in to your life. So having said all this, what 
advice can we get for you so let's get some advice from your angels i saw another one that flipped over here somewhere or was i only dreaming no, here we have you are a special person you do make a difference so know that when it comes to you and your own journey and your journey in this connection you do make a difference you are special you are unique you are someone that is born to make a difference so you can make a difference when it comes to your connection but not only your connection but in life in general we also have here tell a loved one how much they they do truly mean to you it is better to tell them while they're among the living so if you've been holding back telling someone how you truly feel telling a person how you truly feel maybe you just need to tell them once and for all or tell them get it off your chest so they find so they know you rather do it now while you still can even though you can do it once they've passed on but it's so much better for you to do it when they are amongst the living so that you can express yourself truly and get some kind of response back that doesn't mean that you should hold and wait out for them to say it back to you or to disclose something to you as well this is just so you can get it out there so you know that you have said those things let's get you some c melodies as well advice we have here reflect Peer into the endless ocean and see what peers back. This is about taking a deep reflection into yourself, looking at yourself. What do you still need to heal? What do you still need to look at? You know, how does this reflect back onto your connection with your person? How does this connect back to who, what it is and who you truly are? What it is you truly want and who, who it is you truly are? Take the helm. Be in control of your own ship. Yes, you are the master and commander of your life. You are the master of your journey. Just the young person is the master of their journey here. The journey card. So whatever it is you want to have, whatever wherever it is you want to go, you are the captain of your ship. Take control. Take control and reflect. So lastly, before I finish your reading, let's do a yes and no questions for the universe pick one through three and let's get you some answers pause if you need to but let's go number one it is no for a reason know that whatever it is you're asking the answer is no and the reason is because it is not for your highest and greatest good not right now not right now anyway so the answer is no for you Number two, more information is needed before the universe can give you a clear answer. Whatever it is you're asking for, the universe is trying to work out a way to see if it is for your highest or greatest good. Number three, you are the you are co-creator with the universe, and this goes back to taking the helm, taking the reins of your own life. You are co-creator with the universe, so whatever it is you're asking. For you can make it happen. You can make it. You can. You can say yes. You can say no. You have the power to create whatever it is you want in this life. So, guys, thank you so much for watching. Thank you for tuning in and supporting me and being with me on this journey. Um, if you guys are interested in a personal reading, all the information you need is in the description box below. Please like, comment, subscribe, share if you feel so inclined, and and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Hello, if you pick this pile, this is your reading. Oopsie, sorry, that must have been loud for you guys. So, how does he or she feel about you? We have the four of cups here. So, how do they feel about you? They feel like this has been a missed opportunity. You might have offered their cup to you. Sorry. They might have offered their cup to you or you might have offered your cup to them. But either way, it was rejected. This was a missed opportunity. They weren't even looking at that cup. They were too busy perhaps looking at other cups, looking at other options. So they couldn't see what you had to offer. They couldn't see what they were passing up at the time. We have here the King of Wands. They see you as someone who overcomes obstacles. You might be more... Um, sophisticated and worldly than they are they might you might be someone who who is in a place of um, authority work-wise family-wise 
uh, socially wise. You are someone who stands in your power. You're a leader. You're someone that people perhaps looks up to. They see you. Well, at least that's how they see you. They see you as someone who overcomes obstacle is the main one out of this one. We have the page of wands here. They see you like someone who's free spirited. They also want to be spirit. I feel like they want to spirit you away. They want to take. They want to send you a message, a passionate message, about wanting to go on this adventure with you, explore something, explore where you two can go, be free spirited, throw caution to the wind, and just pack up your bags and go, go on an adventure where you guys can really um, examine what comes next for you. We also have here the hanged man. So not only have they missed this opportunity, but while they've missed this opportunity, now that they're looking back at this, they're starting to to um gain enlightenment, gain knowledge, having some kind of spiritual awakening where they're like, you know, yes, I might be stagnant right now. I might just be dangling here. Nothing's moving forward. Um, but I'm learning at least. I'm learning from my past mistakes. I'm learning from my current situations. I'm learning from everything around me. This is because they're going through a tower moment. You could be going through a tower moment. This could be you. This could be you who's the hangman energy. You could be the one who is going through a spiritual awakening and they see this. They see you evolving and you're going through this tower moment or they're going through a tower moment and these foundations, these beliefs are coming crumbling down. There has been divine intervention. This is why perhaps you stepped into your power as the king of wands. And we have the sun here. So they want to go out and explore with you and be like, let's, let's, I know you are not responsible, responsible for my happiness. I'm not responsible for your happiness, but you can find your happiness, find your self-fulfillment. I can find mine. And together we can walk this path towards stepping into our sunshine. Let's, let's explore that. Let's look at that to walk in towards our sunshine, walk towards our joy, our happiness. We have, we have found it within so we can walk together hand in hand and and bask in that joy and happiness of each other we also have here false person so your person might see that perhaps you are wearing a mask they might see you as someone who's wearing a mask you're not showing your true feelings and the energies can be reversed it could be that that they are the one who are are aware that you see that they are wearing a mask see that they are not fully exposing who they are um we have another here official person so going back to that king of wands energy here um they might see you as someone who's really like standing in your power you're being recognized you have two two here your foundations half that that's for again foundation there's something about you shifting your foundations because of this tower moment they see you as someone who's stepping up leveling up um you're being perhaps recognized in your community in your family, in your community work, there's something about recognition here for you. There's something about you working together with other people. And that's perhaps helping them wanting to take off their masks. So how do they feel about you? They um they feel like they that, that I, I feel what I'm getting here is that they kind of feel a little bit like this this sail has shipped. This sail has sailed. The ship has sailed is what I'm trying to say. Um and they see you as someone who's like gone through this massive awakening. You have leveled up. You're, you're moving on. You know, to them, it looks like you're moving on. You're stepping into your power. You're becoming recognized in whatever it is you're doing. Um, you're getting um, recognition in your community, the people around you, your family, your soul tribe, whatever it is. You're being recognized for whatever it is you've done, whatever it is you're doing. Even if it's just like you're just awakening to your journey and you, you're living your life's purpose. So having said that, let's get some advice for you. What advice do your angels have for you? What advice do your angels have for you? What is this here? Your animals in spirit are safe and well and showering you with their love. So you're being guided and assisted by your uh, spirit animals. So you you might be seeing certain animals around and that's your spirit animal trying to to guide you so i'm just realizing the sun is like yeah that's, that's better your, your spirit animals are trying to help you and guide you through this journey is there anything else so here um 
you are being you are a being of the universe feel the connection you are never alone so in the times when you feel alone on this journey like you feel you can't get up like it's been too much you've done so much know that you're not alone you can lean upon the universe lean upon spirit lean upon anyone everyone and they'll hold you up let's get you some see melodies advice as well patience the tide will come in when it's ready so especially when it comes to this journey you're having with this person have patience they will when when the time is right they will come back in so leave it down to divine timing so speaking of timing let's do uh some yes or no questions before i finish up your reading so a number through one two three and that will be your answer yes or no questions so number one your answer is and pause if you need to it might take a while so number one if you chose number one the answer is yes but it might take a while it might not be as quick as you want it to be number two it's no for a reason so the reason is no because it's not for your highest and greatest good right now i mean energies shift and change all the time so you can always ask the question at a later date but it's no for a reason right now number three not for your highest good so number three the answer is no for you as well it is not for your highest good right now again energy shift and change all the time and this might change in the future but for for now it is not the right time for you because it's not the highest it's not for your highest and greatest good so guys thank you so much for watching if you guys are interested in a personal reading all the information you need is in the description box below please like comment subscribe share if you feel so inclined and i'll see you guys next time bye hello if you picked this pile this is your reading so how does he or she feel about you well we have here wheel of fortune so your person feels like Things are finally going to start, are finally starting to turn in his favor or her favor when it comes to you. There's a cycle that's ending here with the number 10, so a new one can begin. So they might be feeling hopeful, hopeful that perhaps you and them can now have a new chance. You can have a new beginning for the two of you. We have here another number 10. So definitely the cycle's ending here, left, right, and center for your person. So they can finally put down these burdens, put down these stresses, put down those things that do not... Um, serve them anymore the things that perhaps been keeping um keeping uh, them from you this could also be that they see you as someone who's who causes stress to them uh, or perhaps even a burden but i'll pull another card on this and see but yeah you they might be feeling a little bit burdened by you or stressed by you we also have here the eight of cups so we have here that um you know they're walking away they're walking away from the cups that do not serve them they're walking away from people places and things they just you know this is not working for them so i'm getting two narratives here so the first narrative here is that your person is feeling hopeful feeling that the wheel is finally turning in their favor for the two of you they're wanting to put down the burdens they wanted to put down the stresses and they want to walk away from the current situations that do not serve them the current cups they have in their lives that do not serve them um, second scenario here is that yes the will is starting to turn in the favor and they're feeling a little bit burdened and stressed by you so they're like but they're finally getting out of the energy getting away from you perhaps they're moving away from you so take it as it resonates um, but that's what I'm getting here but let's pull some cards on this what is the ten of wands why is the ten of wands here why is the ten of wands here because we have the ace of cups okay so the ten of wands is here so that because they're learning how to love themselves they're filling up their cup with self-love um so that they can bring an offer to you bring an offer this how do they feel about you they want to bring your love offer so they're not don't necessarily see you as the stress they don't see you as the burden they want to bring you a cup of love but they are but they are burdened right now they they get stressed by you, stressed by the the connection perhaps. That's because they don't love themselves. But they're learning how to love themselves. They're learning how to um fill up their cup so they can bring that cup to you. Bottom of the deck here we have the page of pentacles. They're wanting to bring you a message about an offer, an opportunity, something that they desire. 
um, something that's solid in the material world. Let's have a look at this Eight of Cups. What are they walking away from? They're walking away from the Two of Wands. So they're walking away from a decision that they made. They might have made a decision before. They may have walked away from you or to somebody else. But they're walking away from that decision. They're regretting that decision. And they're walking away from that situation. Yeah, we have here Seven of Cups. Yeah, they made a choice. They had all these choices and they chose the wrong cup. And they're walking away from that cup now. Because that cup doesn't, is not the cup that they want. Bottom of the deck, we have here Two of Swords. Again, choices being blind they were blind when they chose before so what else do we have here so we have here the queen of swords they are very clear now they, they know what they want they stand in the truth and they're clear and they're going to cut people places and, and, and things out that is not, does not serve them that doesn't take them where they want to go which is filling up the cup uh, or bringing an offer of love we have the nine of wands here the Nine of Wands is, is holding on, making a last stand. Yes, they're wounded. Yes, they're hurt. But they're going to make a last stand. We have the Five of Swords here. They've been in this energy where they wanted to win at all costs. But the thing is, with the Five of Swords here, nobody walks away a winner. Everyone walks away a loser. It's a it's a lose-lose situation. But fives are numbers of challenges and struggles. But it's also numbers of change. And change is coming now for your person. They've had a long period of time here of toil and labor it's been hard for them it's been hard but they're finally going to a place where um they're perhaps being able to be with with a privileged lady but the, what i'm getting from privileged lady and number three i'm getting third party situation here yeah, this could be the karmic the third party person they've got been going through a lot of toil and labor in this karmic relationship they've been in uh and they've been feeling more imprisoned than anything when it comes to to this relationship this is what they're walking away from they're walking away from a karmic situation the one that only caused them turmoil and hard work um they they struggle they trap themselves they felt trapped They felt trapped and they felt like they couldn't get out. Like they couldn't move. They couldn't move. They couldn't go anywhere. They couldn't even get themselves out. They couldn't, they were, they perhaps were tied down by some kind of financials. But there was something here that they, this, this karmic, this, this person, they just couldn't move. They couldn't do anything other than lose themselves in all of this. But they have found their clarity now. They're going to stand in their truth. They know their truth. And they're going to fill up their cup. This is the main mission right now. Is learning how to love themselves again. So they can learn, love you the way that they really want to. And the way that you deserve. Okay. So let's get you some advice from your angels. What advice do your angels have? Every day is a new beginning. So every day is a new beginning. Remember that every day is a chance to start all over again, to start anew. So whatever happened the day before, whatever failures, whatever um, setbacks, every day is an opportunity to start and try again. Let's get you some advice it's from the C melodies. Safety. Don't be too proud to go back to shore so don't be too afraid to go back and try again don't be too afraid to pick yourself up and try again don't be too afraid to so that you sit there and you protect your heart to you protect yourself you build up this wall this wall this fort and no one can penetrate your shields don't climb up be open be open to receive be open to let people in Every day is a new beginning. Every day is a new opportunity. So before I finish, let's do some yes and no questions to the universe. So we're going to do one through three. Ask a yes and no question. We'll get your answer from the universe. So number one, and pause if you need to. Number one. We have number one here. More information is needed. So whatever your question is, more information needs to be 
collected from the universe so they can give you a proper answer. Number two, it might take a little while. So the answer is yes, but it's gonna ha it's gonna take a while. It's not gonna happen immediately for you. Number three divine timing so know that it's going to happen yes but it's going to happen in divine timing it could be tomorrow it could be in two years it could be in four years ten years whatever whenever the time is right in the for the universe that is when it's going to happen so guys thank you so much for watching if you guys are interested in a personal reading all the information you need is in the description box below please like comment subscribe share if you feel so inclined and i'll see you guys next time bye